Slavery is a social economic system under which persons are enslaved, deprived of personal freedom and forced to perform labor or services without compensation. These people are referred to as slaves. The following is a list of historical people who were enslaved at some point during their lives, in alphabetical order by first name. Several names have been added under the letter representing the person's last name. A Abdul Rahman ibn Ibrahim Asori (1762–1829), a prince from West Africa and a slave in the United States for 40 years until President John Quincy Adams freed him. Abraham, a black slave who carried messages between the frontier and Charlestown during wars with the Cherokee, for which he was freed. Abram Petrovich Ganibal (1696–1781), adopted by Russian Tsar Peter the Great, Governor of Tallinn (Rival) (1742–52), General and Chef (1759–62) for building of sea forts and canals in Russia, great grandfather of Pushkin. See the slave in European art for portraits. Absalom Jones 1746 February 13, 1818, former slave who purchased his freedom, abolitionist and clergyman, first ordained black priest of the Episcopal Church. Eilfsieg, a male cook in Anglo-Saxon England, property of Winflet, who left him to her granddaughter Edgifu in her will. Alias Perseus, a freedman of the late Roman Empire, whom T. Alias Dionysus included by name on a stella for him, his wife, their freedmen and those who came after them. Ailstan, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England freed with his wife and all their children born and unborn by Geatflet, for the love of God and the good of her soul. Aesop c. 620-564 BCE, Greek poet and author or transcriber of Aesop's fables. Afak, a Kipchak slave girl who was given by Fakir al-Din Baramshah, the ruler of Darban, to the poet Nizami Ganjavi 1141-1209. She became the dearly beloved wife of Ganjavi, considered the greatest romantic epic poet in Persian literature, and the mother of his only son Muhammad. His grief at her premature death was expressed in still widely read poems. It is disputed whether Afak Horison was her real name or a nickname. In the later case, her name remains unknown. Agathoclea d. approximately 230, a martyr and patron saint of the town of Miquinenza in Spain. Alam al-Malika died 1130, slave singer who was promoted to become the de facto prime minister, advisor and ruler of the Principality of Zabaid in present-day Yemen. Alexina Morrison, a fugitive slave in Louisiana who claimed to be a kidnapped white girl and sued her master for her freedom on that ground, arousing such popular feeling against him that a mob threatened to lynch him. Alfred. Teen. Blackburn 1842 to 1951, one of the last living survivors of slavery in the United States who had a clear recollection of it. Alice Clifton c. 1772 unknown, as an enslaved teenager, she was a defendant in an infanticide trial in 1787. Alvar Núñez Cabeza de Vaca c. 1490 c. 1558, a Spanish explorer who was enslaved by Native Americans on the Gulf Coast of what is now the United States after surviving the collapse of the Narvaez expedition in 1527. al Khizaran bin Adda died 789, a Yemenite slave girl who became the wife of the Abbasid Caliph al-Mahdi and mother of both Caliphs al-Hadi and Harun al-Rashid, the most famous of the Abbasids. Amanda America Dixon, the daughter of white planter David Dixon and slave Julia Francis Lewis, who belonged to his mother. Although technically a slave until emancipation after the American Civil War, Amanda Dixon was raised as her father's favorite. At his death in 1885, she inherited his estate of $500,000. Amar bin Yasser (570–657), one of the most famous Sahaba companions of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, freed by Abu Bakr. Amos Fortune (1710–1801), an African prince who was a slave in the United States for most of his life. A children's book about him, Amos Fortune, Free Man, won the Newbery Medal in 1951. Anna Velasquez, mother of Martin de Porres. Anarcha Westcott, c. 1828 unknown, a black slave in the United States who was one of the several enslaved women experimented on by J. Marion Sims.
Andrea Aguirre died 1849, a freed black slave from Uruguay who joined Garibaldi during Italian revolutionary involvement in the Uruguayan Civil War of the 1840s and was killed fighting in defense of the Roman Republic of 1849. Anne Calhoun, a white girl and cousin to John C. Calhoun who was enslaved from the age of four until she was seven by the Cherokee. Anna J. Cooper (1858–1964), author, educator, speaker, and prominent African American scholar. Antara ibn Shaddad (525–608), pre-Islamic Arab, born to a slave mother, freed by his father on the eve of battle, also a poet. Anthony Burns (1834–1862), a preacher who escaped slavery to Boston only to be recaptured due to the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, then had his freedom bought by those who opposed his recapture in Boston. Antonia Bonelli, captured and enslaved by the Miccosukee tribe in Florida in 1802. Antonio and Mundi, the presumed names of two 16th-century African slaves brought by Portuguese owners to Macau. They later managed to escape into China. A popular legend states that one of them was the first to teach Chinese to an Englishman. Aputsiak Hoig, sued her master William Daniel for her freedom in Arkansas, alleging that her mother had been a kidnapped and enslaved white woman. Aqualtun Esgandidu Mahamud da Silva Santos died 1677, Princess of Congo, mother of Ganga Zumba and grandmother of Zumbi dos Palmares. She led 10.000 men during the Battle of Mb Wila between Kingdom of Congo and Kingdom of Portugal. She was captured by Portuguese forces, was brought to Brazil and sold as slave. She created the slave settlement of Colombo dos Palmares with his son Ganga Zumba. Archer Alexander 1810 the model for the slave in the 1876 Emancipation Memorial Sculpture. Archibald Grimke (1849–1930), born into slavery, the son of a white father, became an American lawyer, intellectual, journalist, diplomat, and community leader. Arkill, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, freed by Geatflid for the love of God and the good of her soul. Arthur Crumpler (c. 1835–1910) escaped slavery in Virginia, second husband of Dr. Rebecca Davis Lee Crumpler. Augustine Tolton (1854–1897), the first black priest in the United States. Aurelia Felimatium, a freedwoman whose tombstone glorifies her marriage with her fellow freedman, Lucius Aurelius Hermia. Ayuba Suleiman Diallo (1701–1773), also known as Job Ben Solomon, a Muslim of the Bundu state in West Africa who was enslaved for two years in Maryland, freed in 1734, and later wrote memoirs that were published as one of the earliest slave narratives. Topic B. Baibars (1223–1277), also known as Abu al-Futu, a Kipchak Turk who became a Mamluk Sultan of Egypt and Syria. Base Reeves (1838–1910), one of the first black deputy U.S. marshals west of the Mississippi River, credited with arresting over 3,000 felons as well as shooting and killing 14 outlaws in self-defense. Sarah Bassett died 1730, enslaved in Bermuda, executed in 1730 for the poisoning of three individuals. Balthild c. 626-680, an Anglo-Saxon woman of elite birth who was sold into slavery as a young girl and served in the household of Urchinold, mayor of the Palace of Neustria. Later she became queen consort by marriage to Clovis II, and then regent during the minority of her son Clotaire. She abolished the practice of trading Christian slaves and sought the freedom of children sold into slavery. She was canonized by Pope Nicholas I about 200 years after her death. Batias, a black slave sold by the Choctaw chief Francie Mustabe to Benjamin James, and later stolen by Robert Welsh. Betty Hemings c. 1735 an enslaved mulatto in colonial Virginia who in 1761 was forced to become the concubine of her master, planter John Wales, and had six mixed-race children with him over a 12-year period, including Sally Hemings and James Hemings. Bilal ibn Ribba 580 freed in the 6th century. He converted to Islam and was Muhammad's muezzin. Andrew Jackson Beard (1849–1921), inventor, emancipated at age 15 by the Emancipation Proclamation. 
Billy, a seven-year-old black boy captured by Creek Raiders in 1788, he passed through several hands before being sold at auction in Havana. Henry Bibb 1815 American author and abolitionist who was born a slave. After escaping from slavery to Canada, he founded an abolitionist newspaper, The Voice of the Fugitive. He later returned to the U.S. and lectured against slavery. Bill Richmond 1763 born in America, freed and became one of England's most well-known boxers. Blesis and Blesia, whose late Republican Rome tomb inscription names them as the Freedman of Keys and the Freedwoman of Aulus. Blandina c. 162-177, a slave and Christian martyr in Roman Gaul. Boga, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, and all his family, were freed by his mistress Aethelgifu's will. Booker T. Washington 1856 born into slavery, became an American educator, author and leader of the African-American community after the Civil War. Maria Bogoslavka 17th century, Ukrainian woman enslaved in a harem, and became a heroine of assisting the escape of 30 Cossacks from slavery. Nathaniel Booth 1826 escaped slavery in Virginia and settled in Lowell, Massachusetts. In 1851, the citizens of Lowell purchased his freedom from slave hunters. Brigitta Skertsenfelt (1698–1733), Swedish memorist and weaving teacher who was captured during the Great Northern War and lived as a slave in the Kingdom of the Kalmyk in Central Asia. Busa, born a free man in West Africa of possible Igbo descent and was captured by African slave merchants, sold to the British, and transported to Barbados where slavery had been legal since 1661 in the late 18th century as a slave. C Cenus, a former slave and secretary of Antonia Minor mother of the Emperor Claudius and the mistress of the Roman Emperor Vespasian in the 1st century CE. Pope Calixtus I died 223, a former slave, pope from about 218 to about 223, during the reigns of the Roman emperors Heliogobulus and Alexander Severus. He was martyred for his Christian faith and is a canonized saint of the Roman Catholic Church. Callistratus, an Athenian slave and banker. Carlota died 1844, led a slave rebellion on Cuba in 1843-1844. Castus a Gallic slave and one of the leaders of rebellious slaves during the Third Serval War. Cato, an African-American slave who served as an American black patriot spy and courier gathering intelligence with his owner, Hercules Mulligan. Cato died 1803, a slave in Charlestown, N.Y., who murdered 12-year-old Mary Aikens after an attempted rape. His confession was published in the murder literature of the time. Sevri Kalfa, a Georgian slave girl at the Sultan's harem in Istanbul, who saved Mahmud II's life and was rewarded for her bravery and loyalty by being appointed Hasnadar USTA, the chief treasurer of the imperial harem. Charles Ayres Brown, mixed-raced slave born in Buckingham County, Virginia around 1820 or 1821 and was a part of the contraband camp during the American Civil War in Corinth, Mississippi. He was in Company E. He was legally married to Minerva Brown in 1867 and they had six children. Charles Deslons, Haitian mulatto tasked with overseeing other slaves on the Andre Plantation and leader of the 1811 German Coast Uprising in present-day Louisiana. He was brutally killed by the militia, which put down the slave revolt. Charles Taylor, a slave freed by General Benjamin F. Butler in New Orleans, was described in a Harper's Weekly article as appearing white and having come to a school for emancipated slaves in Philadelphia. Charlotte de Pie, c. 1787 to 1790 c. 1866, also called Lottie, filed a freedom suit in 1829 against her master, Henry Clay, then Secretary of State, and lost. Chica da Silva c. 1732-1796, also known as Xica da Silva, Brazilian courtesan who became famous for becoming rich and powerful despite having been born into slavery. Christopher Shields born 1774, owned by George Washington and enslaved at Mount Vernon. The location and year in which he died is unknown. 
Claudia Propontis, a freedwoman who erected a funerary altar to her freedman husband T. Claudius Dionysus, their clasped hands, depicted on it, show the legitimacy of their marriage, possible only once they obtained their freedom. Clara Brown c. 1800 a former Virginian slave who became a community leader, philanthropist and aided settlement of former slaves during Colorado's gold rush. Pope Clement I died 100, the fourth pope according to Catholic tradition. He may have been a freedman of Titus Flavius Clemens. César Picton c. 1765-1831, enslaved in Senegal, worked as a servant in England, and later became a wealthy coal merchant. Cesirely Ghazi Hassan Pasha (1713–1790), a Georgian slave in the Ottoman Empire who rose to be Grand Vizier, Kapudan Pasha, and an army commander. Cole, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, freed by Geatflid for the love of God and the good of her soul. Colonel Ty (1753–1780), also known as Titus Cornelius, a former slave, became a Black Loyalist soldier and guerrilla leader during the American Revolution. Cooper, a black slave around 20 years old, fled to the creek. He was captured for sale to the whites and killed after he wounded a warrior. Crixus, a Gallic gladiator and military leader in the Third Serval War. Cujo Lewis c. 1840 considered the last person born in Africa to have been enslaved in the United States. Cuffey died 1763, was an Akan man who was captured in his native West Africa, taken to work in the plantations of the Dutch colony of Berbice in present-day Guyana, and in 1763 led a revolt of more than 2,500 slaves against the colonial regime. Today, he is a national hero in Guyana. D Danny the new maidservant of Capito", named in lead curse tablet from Republican Rome, which aimed to destroy Danae. Dave Drake c. 1801-1876, also known as Dave the Potter David George, a black man who fled a cruel Virginia master and was captured by Creeks and enslaved by Chief Blue Salt. Deborah Squash, with her husband Harvey escaped from George Washington's Mount Vernon, joined the British in New York during the American Revolutionary War, and were evacuated in 1783 as freedmen. Denmark Vesey c. 1767-1822, an African-American slave and later a freeman who planned what would have been one of the largest slave rebellions in the United States had word of the plans not been leaked. Dido Elizabeth Bell 1761 born into slavery as the natural daughter of Maria Bell, an enslaved African woman in the West Indies, and Sir John Lindsay, a British career naval officer. Lindsay took Bell with him when he returned to England in 1765, entrusting her raising to his uncle William Murray, 1st Earl of Mansfield, and his wife Elizabeth Murray, Countess of Mansfield. The Murrays educated Bell, bringing her up as a free gentlewoman at their Kenwood house, together with their niece, Lady Elizabeth Murray. Bell lived there for thirty years. In his will of 1793, Lord Mansfield confirmed her freedom and provided an outright sum and an annuity to her, making her an heiress. Diogenes of Sinop c. 412-323 BCE, Greek philosopher kidnapped by pirates and sold in Corinth. Deandre Hammond, hailed from Africa, sent by British to colonial America, later escaped to what is now Southern California. Dinka, the half-Roma slave and illegitimate child of a Cantacuzino boyar in the 19th century Danubian principalities present-day Romania. Well educated, working as a cook but not allowed to marry his French mistress and go free, which had led him to murder his lover and kill himself. The affair shocked public opinion and was one of the factors contributing to the abolition of slavery in Romania c. 3. Diocletian 244-312, Emperor of Rome, was by some sources born as the slave of Senator Anullinus. By other sources, it was Diocletian's father whose own name is unknown who was a slave, and was freed prior to the birth of his son, the future emperor. Dred Scott c. 1799-1858, an African-American slave in Missouri who attempted to sue for his freedom in a nationally publicized trial, Scott v. Sanford, that reached the United States Supreme Court in 1857. Doof the Old, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, was freed by his mistress Ethel Gifuswell. D. 
Topic E. Eckard the Smith, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, freed by Geatflit for the love of God and the good of her soul. Ekfer Aldun's daughter, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, freed by Geatflit for the love of God and the good of her soul. Edmund Flint, a black enslaved among the Choctaw Nation who later described it as very like slavery among the whites. Eddie, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England who bought her freedom and that of her children. Elijah Abel (1808–1884), born in Maryland as a slave and believed to have escaped slavery on the Underground Railroad into Canada. He joined the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in its early days, was among the first blacks to receive its priesthood and the first black person to rise to the ranks of an elder in 70. Eliezer of Damascus, Abraham's slave and trusted manager of the Patriarch's household in the Hebrew Bible. Eliza Hopewell, the slave of Confederate spy Isabella Maria Boyd. Bell Boyd. In 1862 she helped her mistress espionage activities, carrying messages to the Confederate Army in a hollowed-out watch case. Eliza Moore 1843 January 21, 1948, one of the last proven African-American former slaves living in the United States. Elias Polk 1806 December 30, 1886, a conservative political activist of the 19th century. Elizabeth Key Grinstead 1630 after 1665, the first woman of African ancestry in the North American colonies to sue for her freedom and win. Key and her infant son, John Grinstead, were freed on July 21, 1656, in the colony of Virginia, based on the fact that her father was an Englishman and that she was a baptized Christian. Elizabeth Freeman, c. 1742-1829, known as Bet and later Mum Bet, was among the first black slaves in Massachusetts to file a freedom suit and win in court under the 1780 Constitution, with a ruling that slavery was illegal. Elizabeth Hobbs Keckley, 1818-1907, best known as the personal modiste and confidant of Mary Todd Lincoln, the first lady of the United States. Keckley wrote and published an autobiography, Behind the Scenes, or, Thirty Years a Slave and Four Years in the White House, 1868. Elsie Thompson, a white captive enslaved by a creek. When trader John O'Reilly attempted to ransom her and Nancy Caffrey, he was told they were not taken captive to be allowed to go back, but to work. Emmeline, age 23, Nancy, 20, Louis, brother of Nancy, 16, Edward, brother of Emmeline, 13, Louis and Edward, sons of Nancy, 7, Anne, daughter of Nancy, 5, and Amanda, daughter of Emmeline, 2, were freed in the 1852 Lemon v. New York court case after they were brought to New York by their Virginia slave owners. Emily Edmondson 1835 along with her sister Mary, joined an unsuccessful 1848 escape attempt known as the Pearl Incident, but Henry Ward Beecher and his church raised the funds to free them. Enrique of Malacca, also known as Henry the Black, slave and interpreter of Ferdinand Magellan and possibly the first man to circumnavigate the globe in Magellan's voyage of 1519-1521. Epictetus 55c. 135, ancient Greek Stoic philosopher. Epinuel, a native of Chappaquiddick who was taken captive by English explorers in the 1610s with 29 others, and taken to London as a slave. Estevanico, 1500-1539, also known as Esteban the Moor, one of only four survivors of the ill-fated Narvaez expedition, later a guide in search of the fabled seven cities of gold and possibly the first African person to arrive in Arizona and New Mexico. Eucharist, freedwoman of Licinia, described in her epitaph as 14 when she died and a child actress. Eunice died 132 BC, a Roman slave from Apamea in Syria, the leader of the slave uprising in the First Servile War. Euphraos, an Athenian slave and banker. Exuperius and Zoe died 127, second century Christian martyrs. They were a married couple who were slaves of a pagan in Pamphylia. They were killed along with their sons, Syriacus and Theodolus, for refusing to participate in pagan rites when their son was born. F Felicitas died 203, Christian martyr and saint. Fida, acquired by the Bab when she was no older than seven years of age, Fida served the Bab's wife Cottage Abagam. Fida would die the same night as her master. 
Fountain Hughes 1848, 1957, interviewed in June 1949 about his life by the Library of Congress as part of the Federal Writers Project. Francis Bach born 1979, Dinka slave from South Sudan, now an abolitionist and author in the United States. Francisco Menendez, a slave from South Carolina who escaped to Florida, where he served in the Spanish militia, leading the garrison established in 1738 at Fort Mose. This site was the first legal free black community in what is now the United States. Francois McCandle died 1758, Haitian Maroon leader. Frederick Douglass 1818 to 1895, born into slavery in Maryland and escaped to the Northeast in 1838, where he became an internationally renowned abolitionist writer, speaker, and diplomat. French John, a French fur trader captured by the Cherokee and enslaved by Old Hop, apparently making no effort for his freedom for many years, until he ran away when the British offered to buy him. G. Gabriel Prosser (1776–1800), leader of Virginia slave revolt. Ganga Zumba or Ganazumba (c. 1630–1678), a descendant of an unknown king of Congo who escaped slavery in colonial Brazil and became the first leader of the runaway slave settlement of Colombo dos Palmares. Ganicus, a Celtic slave and one of the leaders of rebel slaves during the Third Servile War. George Africanus (1763–1834), an African slave from Sierra Leone who became a successful entrepreneur in Nottingham. George Edward Donny (1758–1809), Gambian slave of the Earl of Essex. George Freeman Bragg (1863–1940), born into slavery in North Carolina and later became a leading Episcopal priest and social activist. George Lewis (1794–1811), also known as Slave George, was a slave murdered in Kentucky on the night of December 15–16, 1811. George Moses Horton (1797–1884), the first African American poet to be published in the Southern United States. George Sanders, a black slave among the Cherokee, who described his masters as kind and providing clothes and food. George Washington Carver, C. 1864–1943, an African-American scientist, botanist, educator and inventor, born into slavery in Missouri and freed as a young child following the American Civil War. Giles, father of George Washington Carver. Glomer, slave of the outlaw Gretter in early medieval Iceland protagonist of Greta's Saga. Glomer is mentioned as loyally sharing his master's long exile on the lonely island of Drangi, off the northern tip of Iceland, though in the circumstances described in the saga he could have easily escaped. Gosala, a 6th century BC ascetic teacher of ancient India, a contemporary and rival of Gautama Buddha, was said to have been born into slavery, and became a naked ascetic after fleeing from his irate master, who managed to grab hold of Gosala's garment and disrobe him as he fled. Gonzalo Guerrero died 1536, a sailor from Palos, Spain, who shipwrecked along the Yucatan Peninsula in 1511 and was taken as a slave by the local Maya. Gordon, also known as Whipped Peter, an African-American slave who escaped from a Louisiana plantation in 1863. The images of Gordon's scourged back taken during a medical examination were published in Harper's Weekly and provided Northerners visual evidence of the brutality of slavery. They inspired many free blacks to enlist in the Union Army. Garior Simonadotter (1598–1682), Icelandic woman taken captive by North African slavers, Barbary pirates. Gustav Baden died 1822, butler at the Royal Swedish Court. Topic H Hababa, beloved concubine of Caliph Yazid II, Hagar, biblical figure, belonging to Sarah. Hannah, a slave in Virginia, and grandmother of Jackie Wright, who sued for her freedom in Hudgens v. Wright 1806 on the grounds that three generations descended from Butterwood Nan, who was an American Indian, not a black. The Virginia Supreme Court affirmed a lower court decision by George Wythe, that because of Jackie's and Hannah's appearance as mixed Indian and European, she was entitled to the presumption of freedom, given the limited nature of Indian slavery. St. George Tucker and Spencer Roan said that, as most Africans had been imported as slaves and blacks descended from slave mothers, a black would not have the same presumption of freedom. 
Hannah Bond B. 1830s, pen name Hannah Crafts, wrote the Bondwoman's narrative after gaining her freedom. Possibly the first novel by an African-American woman, it is the only known novel by a fugitive slave woman. Hark Olaf's 1708-1754, Danish sailor, was captured by Algerian pirates. Sold to the Bay of Constantine, he became commander-in-chief of the Bay's cavalry. He was released in 1735. Harriet Ann Jacobs 1813-1897, author of Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. Harriet Powers 1837-1910, American folk artist, quilter, and a slave in Georgia. Harriet Tubman c. 1822-1913, nicknamed Moses because of her efforts in helping other American slaves escape through the Underground Railroad. Harry, the plaintiff in the 1818 Harry v. Decker and Hopkins' decision by the Supreme Court of Mississippi the first among U.S. southern states to free a slave solely on the basis of prior residence in a free territory. Harry Washington died 1800, also known as Henry Washington, was a slave of George Washington. Transported as a slave to America, he was bought by Washington in 1763 to work on a project for draining the Great Dismal Swamp. Hercules B. C. 1755, head cook at George Washington's plantation, Mount Vernon. He escaped and gained his freedom in 1797, but his wife Alice and his three children remained in slavery. Hermas, author of the text The Shepherd of Hermas and brother of Pope Pius I Hernando de Escalante Fontaneda, born in Cartagena, was enslaved at the age of 13 when the ship bearing him to Spain for education sank off Florida. A Calusa chief enslaved him and used him as a translator until he was ransomed at 30. Topic I. Ibrahim Pasha, c. 1495 to 1536, Suleiman the Magnificent's first appointed Grand Vizier. Greek by birth, he was sold as a slave at the age of six to the Ottoman palace for future sultans, there he befriended Suleiman, who was of the same age. Islas Martianus, a slave and later freedman of the Roman Emperor Galba in the 1st century CE. He was one of three men said to completely control the emperor, increasing Galba's in popularity. Ida B. Wells (1862–1931), prominent African American activist, born a slave, who in later life campaigned against and succeeded in abolishing lynching. She co-founded the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People (NAACP) in 1909. Ima, a Northumbrian aristocrat who was knocked unconscious in battle and later pretended to have been a peasant who brought them food, so that his captors did not kill him. His manners and bearing soon betrayed him, and he was sold into slavery. Isfandiar, a servant in Bahá'u'lláh's house in Tehran, Isfandiar died in Mazandaran. Israel Jefferson, c. 1800 after 1873, known as Israel Gillette before 1844, was born a slave at Monticello, the estate of Thomas Jefferson, and worked as a domestic servant close to Jefferson for years. Ivan Bolotnikov (1565–1608), a fugitive Kolop slave in Russia, and leader of the Bolotnikov Rebellion in 1606–1607. Topic J. Jackie Wright, an American slave who sued for and won her freedom in the famous 1806 Virginia case of Hudgens v. Wright. However, the opinion of the Virginia Supreme Court relied on Wright appearing white and Native American, whereas the lower court under George Wythe had tried to establish a presumption of freedom for all people, of whatever race. James Armistead Lafayette an African-American slave who served the Continental Army in the American Revolutionary War as a double agent. James Baugh, an American slave who sued for his freedom on the grounds that his maternal grandmother had been an Indian. James Hemings (1765–1801), American mixed-race slave owned and freed by Thomas Jefferson. He was the older brother of Sally Hemings and a half-sibling of Jefferson's wife, Martha Wales Skelton Jefferson, through their father John Wales. James Leander Cathcart (1767–1843), a diplomat, slave, and sailor notable for his narrative as a slave in Algiers for eleven years and for his diplomatic accomplishments while in slavery. 
James Somerset or Somerset, a slave in colonial America whose escape while in England in 1771, supported by notable British abolitionists, led to the milestone legal case Somerset v. Stewart, which effectively ended slavery in Britain, though not in its colonies. Jane Johnson 1814 or 1827 to 1872, gained freedom on July 18, 1855, with her two young sons while in Philadelphia with her master and his family. She was aided by William Still and Possmore Williamson, abolitionists of the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society and its Vigilance Committee. Jean-Jacques Dessalines (1758–1806), leader of the Haitian Revolution and first leader of independent Haiti. Jean Saint Malo died 1784, leader of runaway slaves, Maroon Colony in Spanish Louisiana and namesake of Saint Malo, Louisiana. Jean Parizo de Villette (1495–1568), a Knight of the Order of Saint John, was captured and made a galley slave in 1541 by Barbary pirates under the command of Turgot Rees. He was freed after about a year and later became Grand Master of the Order. Geoffrey Hudson (1619 c. 1682), an English courtier who spent 25 years as a slave in North Africa. Jehu Grant (c. 1752). December 28, 1840, Revolutionary War veteran. Jerry, C. William Henry Jim Cuff or Jim Crow was a crippled African slave, variously claimed to have resided in St. Louis, Cincinnati, or Pittsburgh, whose song and dance supposedly inspired the blackface song and dance, Jump Jim Crow, by white comedian Thomas D. Rice. The great popularity of Raya's creation soon led to Jim Crow becoming a pejorative name for blacks, and later to the name being used for the segregationist Jim Crow laws, a highly unfair posthumous memory of the original crippled slave. John Aksich a Seljuk Turk captured as a child by the Byzantines, freed and raised in the imperial household as the companion of the future Emperor John II Komnenos, and on his accession given command of the Empire's armies and remained the Emperor's only close personal friend and confidant. John. Lit. Fleming, born a slave in Virginia but later moved to Edmondson, Arkansas with his parents and siblings. He would then move to Memphis, Tennessee and was part owner of the newspaper The Memphis Free Speech with activist Ida B. Wells Barnett. John Munro Brazil and his mother were the subjects of Heinz v. Brazil 1838, a case in the Supreme Court of Mississippi which denied the legality and inheritance rights in Mississippi of deeds of manumission executed by Elisha Brazil, a Mississippi resident, in Ohio to free the pair. John Brown c. 1810 escaped and wrote of conditions in the deep south of the United States. John Cassar, the first to be made a slave as the result of a civil case in the Thirteen Colonies Virginia Colony, 1655. John Ezidio c. 1810-1872, Nigerian slave who became a successful Sierra Leonean politician and businessman. John J. E. A. Born 1773, African-American slave best known for his 1811 autobiography, The Life, History, and Unparalleled Sufferings of John J. E. A., the African Preacher. John Joyce born into slavery in Maryland, served in the United States Navy, held a variety of jobs after, and murdered a shopkeeper, Sarah Cross, his life and crime recounted in the murder literature of his day. John R. Jewitt (1783–1821), an English armorer who spent three years as a captive of Maquina of the Nuu Cha Nult people on the Pacific coast of what is now Canada. John Punch, Florida, 1630s, living 1640, an African slave in the Virginia colony in the 17th century. In July 1640, the Virginia Governor's Council sentenced him to serve for the remainder of his life as punishment for running away to Maryland. Many historians consider Punch the first official slave in the English colonies, and his case is the first legal sanctioning of lifelong slavery in the Chesapeake. Historians also consider this to be one of the first legal distinctions between Europeans and Africans made in the colony, and a key milestone in the development of the institution of slavery in the United States. John Smith 1580 English soldier, sailor, and author best known for his role in the survival of the Jamestown colony in Virginia, Smith was captured by Turks in 1602 while fighting in Wallachia, but escaped and returned to England by 1604. As Smith described it, "...we all sold for slaves, like beasts in a marketplace." 
Jordan Anderson 1825 best known for a letter sent to his former master in response to the latter's request that Jordan return to his service. Jordan Winston Early 1814 after 1894 was an American Methodist multiracial preacher who was the subject of a book about his life as a slave. John White, an enslaved black boy who was captured by Creeks in 1797 and escaped back to New Orleans, where he told Spanish officials of his master's name, to be returned. Joseph, important figure in the Old Testament and the Quran. Joseph Antonio Emedy (1775–1835), violinist and composer, born in Africa, died in Cornwall. Joseph Sinke (1814–1879), also known as Sengbi Pai, leader of a slave rebellion on the slave ship La Amistad and defendant in the subsequent Supreme Court case United States v. Amistad in 1839. Joseph Jackson Fuller (1825–1908), one of the earliest slaves to be freed in Jamaica, initially under the partial freedoms of the 1833 Slavery Abolition Act. Joseph Knight successfully sought his freedom through a legal suit in Scotland in 1777, a case which established that Scots law would not uphold the institution of slavery. Josephine Bakita (c. 1869–1947), Sudanese-born Roman Catholic nun and saint. Joshua Glover, fugitive slave saved by abolitionists at Racine, Wisconsin in 1854. Juan Francisco Manzano c. 1797-1854, Cuban poet. Juan Gross, a free black soldier captured near Pensacola by an upper creek, who sold him to a white trader who sold him to the Mitasuki chief Kinash, from whom Spaniards ransomed him. Juan Latino, called El Negro Juan Latino. From Ethiopia, brought to Spain as a child, received an education and rose to be professor of Latin at the University of Granada, in 16th century Spain. Juan Ortiz, a young Andalusian nobleman enslaved by Chief Usida in Florida to avenge injuries he suffered at the hands of the expedition Ortiz belonged to. Julia Chin, an Octoroon slave and common law wife of Richard Mentor Johnson, 9th Vice President of the United States. Julia Francis Lewis, mother of Amanda American Dixon by the son of her owner. Jupiter Hammond 1711 before 1806, in 1761 became the first African American writer to be published in the present-day United States. Born into slavery, Hammond was never emancipated. He is considered one of the founders of African American literature. K. Kosum Sultan (1589–1651), an Ottoman slave, later extremely powerful as wife, then mother, and later grandmother of the Ottoman Sultan during the 130-year period known as the Sultanate of Women. Kunta Kinte (c. 1750–c. 1822), a character from the 1976 novel Roots, the saga of an American family whom author Alex Haley claimed was based on one of his actual ancestors. Kinte was supposedly a man of the Mandinka people who grew up in a small village called Jufior in what is now the Gambia and was raised as a Muslim before being captured and enslaved in Virginia. The historical accuracy of Haley's story is disputed. Kizi Kinte, the supposed daughter of Kunta Kinte. As with her father, the existence of an historical Kizi Kinte is disputed. King Jaja of Opobo (1821–1891) sold at about the age of 12 as a slave in the Kingdom of Bani in present-day Nigeria. Proving at an early age his aptitude for business, he not only earned his way out of slavery but also became a rich and powerful merchant prince and the founder of the Opobo city-state. His career eventually ended by the British colonizers whom he tried to defy. Topic L. Lamhati, a Tawasa Indian captured and enslaved by Creek, he escaped. La Mulatresse Solitude 1772-1802, a slave on the island of Guadeloupe freed in 1794 by the abolition of slavery during the French Revolution. She was executed after having fought for freedom when slavery was reintroduced by Napoleon in 1802. Leo Africanus, 1494–1554, a Moor born in Granada who was taken by his family in 1498 to Morocco when expelled from Spain. As an adult he served on diplomatic missions. 
Captured by Crusaders while in the Middle East, he was enslaved in Rome and forced to convert to Christianity. He eventually regained his freedom and lived out his life in Tunis. Leofgifu the dairy maid, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, named in her manumission. Leoflid, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, whose freedom was bought by a man who described her as a kinswoman. Leonor de Mendoza, a slave in colonial Mexico who tried to marry Tomás Ortega, a slave of another master. When her master imprisoned Tomás, she appealed to a church court for assistance, and it threatened excommunication for the master if he did not free Tomás. Louis Adams (1842–1905), a former slave who co-founded the Tuskegee Institute, now Tuskegee University, in Alabama. Lillian Williams, a Tennessee settler who was captured by the Creek while pregnant. The Creek adopted her daughter, whom she named Molly, and they named Esnahatchee. They kept the girl when Williams' freedom was arranged. Germaine Wesley Logan (1813–1872), an African American escaped slave who became an abolitionist, a bishop of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church, and the author of a slave narrative. Lovisa von Berghausen (1698–1733), Swedish writer who published an account of being enslaved in Russia after being taken prisoner during the Great Northern War. Lucius Aurelius Hermia, a freedman butcher whose tombstone glorifies his marriage with his fellow freedwoman Aurelia Philematium. Lucius Cancreus Primogenius, a freedman of Clemens in an inscription praising him for breaking spells against the city. Lucius of Compione, who lost a lawsuit in the 8th century over a man Toto's claimed ownership of him. Lucy, the black slave of John Lang. She was taken captive by the Creek when 12 years old and kept as a slave in Creek territory, where she had slave children and grandchildren. Lucy Ann Berry Delaney 1830-1891, former slave and daughter of Polly Berry. Lunsford Lane 1803 after 1870, an African-American slave and entrepreneur from North Carolina who bought freedom for himself and his family. He also wrote a slave narrative. Lydia, a slave shot and wounded by her owner when she struggled to escape a whipping. The action was ruled legal by the Supreme Court of North Carolina in 1830 see North Carolina v. Mann. Lydia Carter, the "'Little Osage Captive' captured and enslaved among the Cherokee. She was ransomed by Lydia Carter, who made her her namesake. The Osage attempted to reclaim her, but she took ill and died. Lied, a slavewoman freed by the Empress Livia. Topic. M Madison Washington, leader of a slave revolt on board the slave ship Creole in 1841. La Malinche, c. 1496 or c. 1501 c. 1529, a Nahua woman given as a slave to Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés. She became his personal interpreter, advisor, and mistress during the Spanish conquest of Mexico. Mammy Lou 1804 after 1918, a former slave who lived to extreme old age and became an actress in the 1918 silent film The Glorious Adventure. Maines, a slave of Diogenes of Sinop. He ran away shortly after his master arrived in Athens, and Diogenes failed to pursue him on the grounds that if Maines could live without him, it would be disgraceful if he could not equally live without Maines. Man, the name of two slaves in Anglo-Saxon England, one a goldsmith, who were both freed by their mistress Aethelgifu's will. The wife of the man not a goldsmith was also freed. Manjutakin died 1007, a Turkish-born military slave Galam and general of the Fatimids. Marcos Shoro, a Puerto Rican slave who, in 1821, planned and conspired to lead a slave revolt against the sugar plantation owners and the Spanish colonial government in Puerto Rico. Though the conspiracy was unsuccessful, Shoro achieved legendary status among the slaves and is part of Puerto Rico's folklore. Marcius Agrippa, a slave of the late 2nd and early 3rd century who was not only freed but eventually elevated to senatorial rank by the Roman Emperor Macrinus. Marcus Tullius Tiro c. 103 4 BCE, Roman author, slave, and secretary of the Roman politician Cicero, later freed. He invented a long-lasting system of shorthand and wrote books that are now lost. Margaret Garner (1835–1858), a slave in pre-Civil War America, infamous for killing her own daughter rather than see the child return to slavery. 
Margaret Himfi before 1380 after 1408, a Hungarian noblewoman who was abducted and enslaved by Ottoman marauders in the late 14th century. She later became a slave mistress of a wealthy Venetian citizen of Crete, with whom she had two daughters. Margaret returned to Hungary in 1405. Margaret Morgan, involved in the Prig v. Pennsylvania United States Supreme Court case in which the court held that the Federal Fugitive Slave Act precluded a Pennsylvania state law that prohibited blacks from being taken out of Pennsylvania into slavery, and overturned the conviction of Edward Prigg as a result. Marguerite Skypian, c. 1770s, after 1836, an African Natchez woman born into slavery in St. Louis who sued for and eventually won her freedom. Maria al Kibshia died 637, also known as Maria the Copt, Arabic, Merit Alktit or, alternatively, Maria Kuptia, a Coptic slave who was sent as a gift from Mukakis, a Byzantine official, to the Islamic prophet Muhammad in 628, and became Muhammad's wife. She was the mother of Muhammad's son Ibrahim, who died in infancy. Her sister, Surin, was also sent to Muhammad. Muhammad gave her to his follower Hassan ibn Thabit. Maria never remarried after Muhammad's death in 632, and died five years later. Maria, d. 1716, the leader of a slave rebellion on Curaçao. Maria Perkins, a slave from Virginia who wrote a letter to her husband in 1852 about their son being sold away. Marie Cesset Dumas, a slave of Marquis Antoine de la Pelletere, mother of General Thomas Alexander Dumas, and grandmother of famous author Alexander Dumas, per. Marie Joseph Died Angelique died 1734, a black Portuguese slave who was tried and convicted, beaten and hanged for setting fire to her female owner's home, burning much of what is now referred to as Old Montreal. Mark, Massachusetts slave of Captain John Codman. Mark's body was displayed in chains publicly near Charleston, Massachusetts for 20 years. The gruesome display of his body was so well known at the time, the site where Mark's body was displayed is mentioned by Paul Revere as a landmark, in his 1798 account of Revere's 1775 Midnight Ride. Mary, mother of George Washington Carver. Mary Black, one of three slaves charged with witchcraft during the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Mary Calhoun, white woman and cousin of John C. Calhoun who was kidnapped by Cherokee. She never returned home. Mary Edmondson 1832 along with her sister Emily, joined an unsuccessful 1848 escape attempt known as the Pearl Incident, but Henry Ward Beecher and his church raised the funds to free them. Mary Prince c. 1788 after 1833, the account of her life galvanized the anti-slavery movement in England. The master of Morton and the eldest son of the chief of Clan Oliphant, two Scottish nobles who were exiled from Scotland after being implicated in the 1582 raid of Ruthven. The ship in which they sailed was lost at sea, and it was rumoured that they had been caught by a Dutch ship. The last report was that they were slaves on a Turkish ship in the Mediterranean. A plaque to their memory was raised in the church in Algiers. Masood, initially purchased as a youth by Khal i Akbar, an uncle of the Bab, Masood would serve Bahá'u'lláh in Acre. Mend Nazar B. C. 1982, Anuba woman captured in Darfur and transported from Sudan to London, where she eventually won refugee status and wrote the memoir Slave, My True Story 2002. Hans Mergist, a participant in the Crusade of Varna who was captured by the Ottomans in the Battle of Varna 1444 and spent 16 years in captivity. He was the protagonist of a song by the minnesinger Michael Beheim. Shadrach Minkins 1814 a fugitive slave saved by abolitionists at Boston in 1850. Michael Shiner 1805 enslaved laborer, painter-entrepreneur, civic leader and diarist at the Washington Navy Yard. Miguel de Cervantes 1547 author of Don Quixote de la Mancha, the first modern novel. He spent five years as a slave and property of the Viceroy of Algiers after being captured by Barbary pirates. Miguel Perez was the Spanish name of a boy of the Yojuane people who was among 149 Yojuane women and children taken captive in 1759, during an attack on their camp by an expedition of Spaniards and Apaches along the Red River in what is now northern Texas. Many of the captives died of smallpox while those who survived were made into slaves. The boy was sold to a Spanish soldier who bestowed the Spanish name on him. 
Perez became a Hispanicized Indian of San Antonio but he continued to maintain contact with the Yojuanes. In 1786, Perez was recruited to convince the Yojuanes and their Tonkawa allies to go to war with the Lipan Apache, which he did successfully. Mingo, the slave of the Titsworth family in Tennessee, who was captured by Creeks in a raid on the house and kept as a slave by them. Minerva Anderson Breedlove, mother of Madam C.J. Walker. Haji Mubarak, purchased at the age of five years old by Haji Mirza Abul Qasim, the great-grandfather of Shoghi Effendi and brother-in-law of the Bab. Haji Mubarak was sold to the Bab in 1842 at the age of 19 for 14 tamans. Haji Mubarak died at about the age of 40 and is buried in the grounds of the Imam Hussein Shrine in Karbala, Iraq. Mayahid ibn Yusuf ibn Ali, 11th century leader of the Sakaliba slaves of supposed Slavic origin in Dania, Spain then part of Muslim al-Andalus. Taking advantage of the crumbling of the Caliphate of Córdoba, he and his followers rebelled, freed themselves, seized control of the city and established the Taifa of Dania, a city-state which at its peak extended its reach as far as the island of Majorca. N Nancy Caffrey, a white captive enslaved by a creek. When trader John O'Reilly attempted to ransom her and Elsie Thompson, he was told they were not taken captive to be allowed to go back, but to work. Nanny of the Maroons, also known as Granny Nanny and Queen Nanny, Jamaican Maroons leader. Nat Turner (1800–1831) escaped and led revolt in Southampton County, Virginia. Nathan McMillian, who as a freedman sued for the admission of his children to a local Croatan Indian school on the grounds that it was for all non-white children, and that his children had Croatan blood on their mother's side. Niira, a former slave and prostitute whom the Athenian Stephanus married against the law, according to a speech of Demosthenes. Nero Hawley 1742 a freed slave who served in the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War and was buried in Trumbull, Connecticut. Newport Gardner 1746 a freed slave in colonial Newport, Rhode Island. Ng Aku died 1880, a Tonka slave in Hong Kong famed for a piracy scandal. St. Nino c. 280 c. 332, a 4th century Roman woman from Constantinople who is greatly venerated for having brought Christianity to Georgia. By some of the accounts of her life, she originally came to Georgia as a slave kidnapped from her homeland. Afif Nurbanu Sultan c. 1525-1583, née Cecilia Venier Bafo, an enslaved Venetian noblewoman who became the most favored wife of Ottoman Sultan Selim II and the highly influential mother of Sultan Murad III. Topic O. Enemaeus, a Gallic gladiator and one of the leaders of rebellious slaves during the Third Servile War. Olada Equano, c. 1745–1797, also known as Gustavus Vasa, a prominent African-British author and figure in the abolitionist cause whose birthplace is heavily contested. Omar ibn Said (1770–1864), a writer and Islamic scholar from Senegal who was enslaved and transported to the United States in 1807, where he spent the rest of his life as a slave. Onesimus, a slave of Philemon of Colossae who ran away and, having met Saint Paul, was converted by him. Paul sent him back to the Christian Philemon with a letter, which is the epistle to Philemon. Ignatius of Antioch mentions an Onesimus as bishop of Ephesus in the early 2nd century, but it is not certain that these are the same men. Oni Judge (1773–1848), enslaved by the family of Martha Washington, and then by the First Lady herself, Judge worked at Mount Vernon and elsewhere as a personal servant to Martha Washington until she escaped in 1796. Owen Fitzpen, an English merchant who was taken captive by Barbary pirates in 1620 and subsequently escaped. Owen Breedlove, father of Madam C. J. Walker. Topic P. Harriet Evans Payne, c. 1822-1917, Texas slave and later oral historian and storyteller. Pallas, freedman, secretary to the Roman Emperor Claudius. Juan de Pareja (1606–1670), a slave of Spanish artist Diego Velázquez. Velázquez trained him as a painter and freed him in 1650. 
Pasión, an Athenian slave and banker. Late in life, he received the rare honor for a freedman of citizenship. Saint Patrick, abducted from Britain, enslaved in Ireland, escaped to Britain, returned to Ireland as a missionary. Patsy B. C., 1830, an African-American slave that lived in the mid-1800s in South Carolina. Paul Jennings 1799 personal servant and slave to President James Madison during and after his White House years, bought his freedom in 1845 from Daniel Webster. Noted for publishing the first White House memoir, 1865's A Colored Man's Reminiscences of James Madison. Paul Smith, a free black who accused the Cherokee headman Doublehead of kidnapping him and forcing him into bondage. Peggy Titsworth, enslaved at 13 after a creek raid on her Tennessee home. Pete and Hannah Byrne, freed slaves of the Napoleon Bonaparte Byrne family which traveled from Missouri to California Overland a six-month journey in 1859, leaving the farm in Missouri and bringing six adults including Pete and Hannah, the four Byrne children and a herd of cattle and settling in Berkeley, California. Pete and Hannah are considered the first blacks living in Berkeley and among the first African Americans in California. Peter Salem, c. 1750-1816, African American born into slavery in Massachusetts, served as a soldier in the American Revolutionary War Petronia Justa, a woman in Herculaneum who sued her master claiming to have been born after her mother's emancipation. The records of the lawsuit were preserved by the eruption of Vesuvius, Phaedo of Ellis, captured in war, enslaved in Athens and forced into prostitution, became a pupil of Socrates who had him freed, gave his name to one of Plato's dialogues, Phaedo and became became a famous philosopher in his own right. Phaedrus c. 15 BCE, c. 50 CE, Roman fabulist. Phyllis, a Massachusetts slave of Captain John Codman. Convicted in the successful plot to poison her master as she and her fellow slaves found the rigid discipline of their master unendurable, Phyllis was burned to death in 1755. Phyllis Wheatley (1753–1784), colonial American poet, the second published African American poet and first published African American woman. Phoebe, a slave who sued for her freedom in Tennessee, along with her sons Davy and Tom, claiming to be the descendants of an enslaved Indian woman whose sister and other relatives had proven that they were wrongly enslaved. Philocrates, slave of the second century BCE Roman reformer Gaius Gracchus. He remained at his master's side when Gracchus was fleeing from his enemies, forsaken by everybody else. Arriving at a grove sacred to the Furies, Philocrates first assisted Gracchus in his suicide before taking his own life, though some rumors held that Philocrates was only killed after he refused to let go of his master's body. Formion, an Athenian slave and banker. Late in life, he received the rare honor for a freedman of citizenship. Pyrrhus Nahavandi, killer of the Caliph Umar. Pope Pius I, the Bishop of Rome from about 140 to about 154, during the reign of the Roman Emperor Antonius Pius. He was the brother of the freedman Hermas and therefore likely to have been a former slave himself, though that is not mentioned explicitly in the scant records of his life. Polly, the subject of the 1820 Indiana Supreme Court case Polly v. LaSalle, which resulted in all slaves held within Indiana to be freed. Polly Berry, also known as Polly Crockett and Polly Wash, won an 1843 freedom suit in St. Louis, Missouri and also gained the freedom of her daughter Lucy Ann Berry. Polytoria, the subject of a lead curse tablet in ancient Rome, it was a curse on Clodia Valeria Sophrone, that she should not get Polytoria into her power. She appears to have been a slave courtesan who feared being sent to the brothel. Prosper, a slave murdered by his owner Arthur William Hodge, for which Hodge was tried and executed, the first and virtually only such case ever recorded. A pregnant thrall whose name is not preserved, who was fleeing for her life in 11th century Oslo, was given refuge on the boat of Halvard Vebjørnsen, who tried to shield her but was killed together with her by the attacker's arrows, for which he was canonized and became the patron saint of Oslo. Publilius Cyrus, Florida. 8543 BCE, a Latin writer best known for his sententia. He was a Syrian who was brought as a slave to Italy. Topic Q. Kwok Walker, also known as Kwaku or Kwok Walker, sued for and won his freedom in 1781 in a case citing language in the New Massachusetts Constitution 1780 that declared all men to be born free and equal. 
Qutbuddin Ibak or Qutbuddin Ibak Turkish ex-slave, became a soldier, the first of the sultans of Delhi, founder of India's slave dynasty. R Rachel, the subject of the 1834 Rachel v. Walker case in the Supreme Court of Missouri which ruled that an army officer forfeited his slave if he took the person to territory where slavery is prohibited. This ruling was cited as precedent in 1856 in the Dred Scott v. Sanford case before the Supreme Court of the United States. Rachel of Kittery, Maine died 1695, enslaved woman murdered by her master whose case set a legal precedent in New England. Rachel Knight died 1889, originally a slave owned by the grandfather of Newton Knight, the well-known Southern Unionist who during the American Civil War defied the Confederacy in the rebellion known as the Free State of Jones. After the war, Rachel was emancipated along with the other slaves. By the mid-1870s, Knight had separated from his wife, Serena, and married Rachel. In this period, Knight's grown son, Matt from his first wife, married Rachel's grown daughter, Fanny, from a previous union. Knight's daughter, Molly, married Rachel's son, Jeff, making three interracial families in the community. Newton and Rachel Knight had several children before her death in 1889. Rebecca Hooger, a slave freed by General Benjamin F. Butler in New Orleans, and described in a Harper's Weekly article as being to all appearance white, and having come to a school for emancipated slaves in Philadelphia. Remigio Herrera c. 1810s a Cuban slave who became a revered priest in Regla. Pleasant Richardson was an escaped slave who became a Union soldier and property owner in Fincastle, Virginia. Robert Blake, earned the Medal of Honor as a sailor during the American Civil War, after becoming a contraband, i.e. a slave freed by Unionist forces, and enlisting. Robert Drury, 1687 between 1743 and 1750, an English sailor who was shipwrecked on the island of Madagascar in 1702, and remained there as a slave until 1717. Robert Smalls (1839–1915) led a boatload of slaves to freedom and was later a politician. Robin and Polly Holmes, the plaintiffs in the 1853 Holmes v. Ford court case in the Oregon Territory that freed their children. The decision reaffirmed that slavery was illegal in the territory as outlined in the Organic Laws of Oregon that were continued once the region became a U.S. territory. Rosina Downs, a slave freed by General Benjamin F. Butler in New Orleans, and described in a Harper's Weekly article as being to all appearance white, and having come to a school for emancipated slaves in Philadelphia. Rustam Raza Napoleon Bonaparte's Armenian bodyguard. Samson Rowley, chief eunuch and treasurer of Algiers. Roxolana c. 1502-1558, a concubine and later wife to the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and mother of Selim II. Topic S. Sabuktijan c. 942-997, full name Abu Mansur Sabuktijan, captured and sold into slavery at a young age, rose to become a general and eventually a king and the founder of the Ghaznavid Empire in medieval Iran. Safi Sultan c. 1550 c. 1619, an enslaved Venetian woman who was placed in the harem of the Ottoman Sultan Murad III and became the mother of Sultan Mehmed III. Salem Poor (1747–1802), an African American slave who purchased his freedom and a war hero during the American Revolutionary War. Sally Hemings (1773–1835), a mixed race slave of Thomas Jefferson, believed by many to have had six children with him, four of whom survived to adulthood. Sally Miller or Salome Muller B. C. 1814, an American slave whose freedom suit in Louisiana was based on her claimed status as a free German immigrant and indentured servant. Salvius, also known as Triffin, leader of the 104 BCE slave rebellion in Sicily known as the Second Servile War. Sambo, a black captive of Tiger King, a lower creek, who told the traveler William Bartram that Sambo was his family property. 
Samuel Green c. 1802 a slave who bought his freedom and freedom for his loved ones, was involved with the Underground Railroad, and was jailed in 1857 for carrying a copy of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Sandy Jenkins, a slave who Frederick Douglass mentioned in his first autobiography. Sarah Forbes Bonetta (1843–1880), an Egbado princess of the Yoruba who was orphaned in intertribal warfare, sold into slavery as a child, was rescued by Captain Frederick E. Forbes of the Royal Navy, and taken to the United Kingdom, where she became a goddaughter to Queen Victoria. Satralanus, from Gaul, sold by Ermedruda to Toto in Milan in 725. Scipio Africanus (c. 1702–1720). Scipio Moorhead, enslaved artist. Scipio von c. 1784 c. 1840, was captured from his homeland in Africa at a young age and sold into slavery in the United States. He became a skilled artisan in Camden, South Carolina, gained his freedom and inspired a movement among some of his descendants. Servius Tullius, ancient king of Rome said to have started life as a slave though this was disputed, among both Romans and modern historians. Seymour Burr (1754–1862–1837) fought for the Continental Army in the American Revolution. Shagab died 933, mother and co-ruler of the 18th Abbasid Caliph al-Muqtadir. Sojourner Truth (c. 1797–1883), an abolitionist and women's rights activist. Solomon Bailey (1771–1839) wrote a book in 1825 about his life as a slave. Solomon Northup 1807 c. 1863, a farmer, professional violinist, and free-born black man from New York who was lured to Washington, D.C., where slavery was legal, kidnapped, and sold in the South. He remained enslaved in Louisiana from 1841 until he was rescued and liberated in 1853. Author of Twelve Years a Slave. Solomon Flores, slave from northern Alabama. Sojas the Thracian, an Athenian slave, and later freedman, of Nicias, who later leased him a thousand slaves for his mining operation. Spartacus c. 1171 BCE, a gladiator and rebel leader during the Servile Revolt. Stephen Bishop c. 1821 a mixed-race slave in Kentucky known for being one of the first explorers and guides of Mammoth Cave. Sue, a black slave of James Brown, who was captured along with several members of the Brown family and other slaves by Chickamaugas. When the warrior who had captured her threatened another captive, the other captor threatened to kill Sue in retribution. James's son Joseph later kidnapped Sue and her children and grandchildren, eight in all, in retribution for his captivity. Sahab R. Rumi, B. C. 587, also known as Sahab ibn Sinan, enslaved in childhood in the Byzantine Empire, escaped as a young man to Mecca and went on to become an esteemed companion of Muhammad and revered member of the early Muslim community. Sumaya bint Kayyat a woman slave in Mecca and one of the first seven converts to Islam made by the Prophet Muhammad in his early career. She was tortured and killed by the new faith's enemies, becoming the first Muslim shaheed. Squanto (1585–1622), also known as Tusquantum, a Native American of what is now coastal Massachusetts, who was captured by English pirates and sold as a slave. He was later freed and returned to New England, where he met the Pilgrims of the Mayflower in 1621. Sub of Cordoba (940–999), a slave concubine of a caliph and mother and regent of the next caliph of Cordoba in the 10th century. Suk bin Cho 1670 consort of Suk Jong of Joseon and mother of Yangzhou of Joseon. T Thomas Peters 1738 born Thomas Potters, one of the founding fathers of Sierra Leone. A former slave who fled North Carolina during the American Revolutionary War, Peters was a black loyalist member of the British Black Company of Pioneers, became a sergeant, and settled and married in Nova Scotia. He recruited African settlers in Nova Scotia for the colonization of Sierra Leone and later became a leader in Freetown. 
Thomas Sims born 1834, an enslaved African American who escaped slavery in Georgia to Boston, Massachusetts, only to be recaptured under the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 and to escape to Boston once more. Thomas Alexander Dumas, the 25th of March 1762 to the 26th of February 1806, French general and father of Alexander underscore Dumas. Thumal, administrator of justice to the 18th Abbasid Caliph al muqtadir T. Alias Dionysus, a freedman of the late Roman Empire, who created a stella for himself, his wife, and Alias Perseus, his fellow freedmen, and their freedmen and those who came after them. T. Claudius Dionysus, a freedman whose freedwoman wife Claudia Propontis erected a funerary altar to him. Their clasped hands, depicted on it, show the legitimacy of their marriage, possible only once they obtained their freedom. Terence C. 195-185 C. 159 BCE, full name Publius Terentius Offer, Roman playwright and comic poet who wrote before and possibly after his freedom. Tiberius Claudius Narcissus, freed slave who was secretary to the Roman Emperor Claudius in the first century. Tituba, a 17th century Native American slave woman who was owned by Samuel Paris of Danvers, Massachusetts. She was the first person accused of practicing witchcraft during the 1692 Salem witch trials. Tomas Ortega, a slave in colonial Mexico who attempted to marry Leonor de Mendoza, a slave of another master. When her master imprisoned Tomas, Leonor appealed to a church court for assistance, and it threatened excommunication for the master if he did not free Tomas. Toussaint Louverture a freed slave who led the slave revolt that led to the independence of Haiti. Tula died 1795, a leader of the Curaçao slave revolt of 1795. Turgut Reis (1485–1565), also known as Dragut, a well-known admiral of the Ottoman navy of the 16th century who was captured by the Genoese at Corsica and forced to work as a galley slave for nearly four years. He was finally rescued by his fellow Admiral Barbarossa, who laid siege to Genoa and secured Turgut Reis release for the prodigious ransom of 3,500 gold ducats. Thereupon, Turgut Reis resumed his naval career, which included the enslavement of various other people. U Yukausa Granyosa (1705–1775), also known as James Albert, a freed slave turned writer whose autobiography is considered the first published by an African in Britain. Topic V. Venture Smith (1729–1805), an African captured as a child and transported to the American colonies as a slave. When an adult, he purchased his freedom and that of his family, his wife Meg and their children Hannah, Solomon and Cuff. His history was documented and published by a schoolteacher, to whom he talked in his old age. The Vestmen, West Men, in Old Norse, referring to the Irish, were a group of Irish slaves brought to Iceland by Hjörleifur Hromersson, one of the early Norse settlers there. He treated them badly, and they killed him and escaped to a group of offshore islands. Ingolfer Arnerson, Hjörleifer's blood brother, tracked the escaped slaves and killed them all. Though their individual names are unknown, their memory lives on in Icelandic geography, the islands where they sought refuge being known up to the present as Vestmanajur, Islands of the West Men, i.e. of the Irish. Vincent de Paul 1561 a French priest who is venerated as a saint in the Catholic Church. He was taken captive by Turkish pirates, sold into slavery, and freed in 1607. Vibia Calibeni, a freedwoman of the late Roman Empire who unusually named herself as a madam on her tombstone. Virginia Boyd, an American slave woman whose letter to R.C. Ballard, pleading not to be sold with her children among strangers, has been preserved. Ballard had undertaken to have her sold at the request of Judge Samuel Boyd, the children's father, to hide her existence from his family. Violet Ludlow, an American woman sold as a slave several times despite her claims to be a free white woman. Volumnia Satheris, a slave and later freedwoman in ancient Rome. An actress and courtesan, her lovers included Brutus, Mark Antony, and Cornelius Gallus. Her rejection of Gallus provided the theme for Virgil's tenth eclogue.
Topic W. Wes Brady 1849, of Marshall, Texas, was included in the Federal Writers Project Slave Narrative Collection. William Ellison 1790 a slave of mixed race who, after gaining his freedom, became a slaveholder himself, producing cotton. William 1824 and Ellen Craft 1826 a married slave couple from Macon, Georgia whose daring escape to the North in 1848 made them among the most famous fugitive slaves in the country. William Harvey Kearney 1840 a soldier during the American Civil War who received the Medal of Honor after his escape from slavery. William Henry, nicknamed Jerry. A slave who escaped from Missouri but was arrested in Syracuse, New York in 1851 before being rescued by abolitionists from being extradited under the Fugitive Slave Law. William Lee 1750 personal servant to George Washington who served with him during the American Revolutionary War and was the only slave freed via Washington's will. Wolfstan, a slave in Anglo-Saxon England, and his two sons and stepdaughter. They were freed by his mistress Aethelgifu's will. Wu Rui, Wu Rui a 15th-century enslaved eunuch in what is now Vietnam. He was the youngest of 13 Chinese men from Wan Chong whose ship was blown off course and who were subsequently enslaved by the La dynasty. As recorded in the Ming Shi Lu, his companions were made agricultural laborers while Wu Rui was castrated and became an attendant at the imperial citadel of Thang Long. After years of service, he was promoted at the death of the Vietnamese ruler in 1497 to a military position in northern Vietnam. A soldier told him of an escape route back to China and Wu Rui escaped to Longzhou. The local chief planned to sell him back to the Vietnamese, but Wu was rescued by the Pingxiang magistrate and then was sent to Beijing to work as a eunuch in the palace. Wyatt Lee, c. 1822 to 1863, the first husband of Dr. Rebecca Davis Lee Crumpler. He escaped slavery in Virginia. Topic X. Xenon, an Athenian slave and banker. Topic Y. Yaqat al-Hamawi an Arab biographer and geographer known for his encyclopedic writings on the Muslim world. He was sold into slavery in 12th century Syria and taken to Baghdad, but was provided with a good education by an enlightened owner and later freed. Yasar, a 7th century Christian man who had been captured in a campaign of Khalid ibn al-Walid, a companion of the Prophet Muhammad. Yasar was taken to Medina and became the slave of Qiz ibn Makrama ibn al-Muttalib ibn Abd Manif ibn Qusayi. He accepted Islam, was manumitted and became his mala, thus acquiring the Nisbat al-Muttalibi. He had three sons, Musa, Abd al-Rahman, and Ishaq. His grandson, ibn Ishaq, became an important early Arab historian. York 1770 before 1832, an African-American slave of William Clark who accompanied the Lewis and Clark expedition. Z Zalmoxis, a Dacian who was a slave of Pythagoras on the island of Samos, according to Herodotus, Zalmoxis learned philosophy from his master and other wise Greeks. Eventually he was liberated, gathered huge wealth and went back to his homeland, where he converted the Thracians to his beliefs, was greatly venerated for his wisdom and in later generations became worshipped as a god. Zayd ibn Haritha c. 581-629, given to Muhammad's wife Khadija, freed, adopted, and became known as Zayd ibn Muhammad. Ziryab 789-857, also known as Abul Hassan Ali ibn Nafi, a Muslim singer, musician, and polymath known for introducing the crop asparagus to Europe. Zoe, a Christian martyr see Exuperius and Zoe. Zumbi 1655-1695, a slave in 17th century Brazil who escaped and joined the Colombo dos Palmares, the largest ever settlement of escaped slaves in colonial Brazil, becoming its last and most famous leader. See also List of slave owners 
Abolition of slavery timeline 1926 Slavery Convention, an international treaty 1956 Supplementary Convention on the Abolition of Slavery Comfort women, sex slaves in World War II Human trafficking Involuntary servitude International Slavery Museum Slave trade Slave trade acts Slavery Slavery in the colonial United States Slavery in the United States United States National Slavery Museum <laughs>